Hey everyone, and welcome to the 22nd episode of my tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to look at multiple launchpad covers, and I'll show you how to add another launchpad to your performance. After you've plugged in your second launchpad, you want to make sure it's set up in Ableton. Load it up as your second control surface, launchpad MK2, launchpad MK2, launchpad MK2, and give it the appropriate track, sync, and remote switches. And now, you can use both of your launchpads independently in your set. To work with your launchpads in a cover scenario, we add two drum racks, one for each launchpad. For the first track, we're going to take the Launchpad Pro as input, and for the second launchpad, we're going to take the Launchpad MK2 as input. And now we want both of these to be armed so that they can both independently receive signals. And at this point, you can place samples onto your launchpads. When working with pages, we set our pages up in much the same way. We create a group, and then we MIDI map our chain selector onto the right side buttons. And now, pressing buttons on either launchpad is going to switch the page for us. This is a bit more complicated if you're using the wormhole method, so I'm not going to go into that right now. You can go ahead and do the same for the other samples track. And now let's move on to the lights. Lights are a little bit more complicated than the samples. For our lights tracks, we're actually going to need not two, but four lights tracks. We need four because we also want this launchpad to be able to send an effect over to this launchpad, and for this launchpad to send an effect over to this one. So now I'm going to label these tracks based on what information they send. This is going to be lights left to left. Now this is going to be lights left to right. And then this is going to be lights right to left, and this is going to be lights right to right. And now we're going to set up our inputs accordingly. Left samples as input, left launchpad as output. Left samples as input, right launchpad as output. Right samples as input, left launchpad as output. And right samples as input, and right launchpad as output. And finally, switch all these tracks to monitor in, so we only need to arm these samples tracks. And now at this point, pressing my buttons will actually give me light effects on both launch pads. From here, you want to create MIDI effect tracks and then design your effects. Let's design an effect that goes from this corner over to this corner. I'm gonna start it on this here button. And now I'm just going to make a few arpeggiators here. So let's start with this. And now create a group properly so that I can play each one of these. And now I'm going to trigger them based on link delays. And now my effect goes up to the corner. Let's give it some color. And now we have to make the transition over to the second launch pad. Now we must send lights from our left input over to the right output. So to do this, I will first copy the light effect over to the second track. Let's play to see what it looks like. So right now we have the same effect looping on both launch pads. Most of the time, you just need to delay an effect in order to have it display smoothly, as if it would glide across the launch pads. So I'm just going to generate a note length delay, and if my delay timing is right, the effect should smoothly glide across the two launch pads. If this were to be a light effect that was triggered on the right side, I would do it very similarly. This would be my track for displaying lights on the right side, and this would be the track for displaying them on the left side. And then I would add the delay depending on which direction my light effect is going. If, for example, a person had access to a third launch pad, they would similarly set up their launch pad and preferences, just like I did for my second one, and then they would actually need to create three samples tracks, that's one for each launch pad, and then nine lights tracks, because each launch pad has to send lights over to each launch pad. So you would have something that looks like left to left, left to middle, left to right, and then you would have middle to left, middle to middle, middle to right, and then finally right to left, right to middle, and then right to right. A similar principle applies to any higher number Number of launch pads. You just gotta create more tracks. And in the end, if you want to do pages of light effects, you would group all of your MIDI effect tracks and then map to a chain selector. That's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments and I'll answer as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.